We do have Mahaparinirvana of Buddha at which place? What is a great tradition and lived tradition? Who can apply for GI tag for a particular product of any place of Bihar? What is India's stand on the Ukraine war? Is India supporting Russia or Ukraine? To web series, generally they are uncensored. What is your opinion about that? What do you understand by Gujar doctrine? What is the relationship between shipping and logistics? How many major ports do we have in our country? May I come in, sir? Yes, come in. Good evening, sir. Take your seat. Thank you, sir. Introduce yourself. Uh, sir, my name is Mohit Anand. I come from Gaya, Bihar. I have done my B.Tech in Marine Engineering in 2014 from IMU Kolkata campus, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, after that, I have worked as a fourth marine engineer with two companies, one with the Shipping Corporation of India mm -hmm. and other with the Fleet Management Limited, sir. Mm -hmm. In the year 2019, I left my job to prepare for civil services, sir. Uh, Mohit, uh, your monthly remuneration was uh, 2.5 lakh. Then why did you leave the job? Sir, I had promotional exams in the, in the marine sector. Mm -hmm. So, I decided to sit for some better examination which give me a better opportunities for self-development mm -hmm. and that too at the working at the grassroots level, sir. Mm -hmm. You are from Gaya? Yes, sir. So, uh, why Gaya is famous? Uh, sir, Gaya is famous for local sweets like Tilkut and Lai, Vishnu mm -hmm. Mandir. Then, sir, we have Bodh Gaya which is the uh, place where Lord Buddha got its enlightenment. Mm -hmm. It is also famous for the Falgu River, sir. Mm -hmm. It is famous for Pindadan. Mm -hmm. And it is also known for Jainism, Hinduism. Means it is a place of religious diversity, sir. Okay. What is uh, Mahaparinirvan? Mahaparinirvan? Sir, it is the concept in Buddhism. It is the concept of achieving moksha in Buddhism, sir. So, what is the difference between Nirvan and Mahaparinirvan? Sorry, sir. You don't have the idea. Okay, no problem. So, Mahapainirvan, almost the uh, living of the body by that particular person. That is, when we, Buddha passed away, it is known as Mahapainirvan. So, uh, we do have Mahapainirvan of Buddha at which place? Sir, Kushinagar. Kushinagar. And what about uh, Lord Mahavir? I do not know, sir. You don't. Have you, uh, you have not heard the name of Pawapuri? Yes, sir. I have. Hmm. Heard you have heard the name of Pawapuri. Okay, no problem. Uh, Mohit, uh, uh, you have studied sociology. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, what is a great tradition and little tradition? Great and little tradition? So the concept was given by uh, Robert Redfield while he was studying Mexican society. Mm -hmm. So he said that any society or culture can be studied uh, from two forms. One is the mm -hmm. little tradition and other is at great tradition. Little mm -hmm. tradition represents the peasant culture mm -hmm. and uh, great tradition represents the elite culture, sir. Mm -hmm. The concept was used by Mikey Marriott and mm -hmm. Milton Singer. Mm -hmm. And in their study of Kishan Gadi mm -hmm. uh, to highlight the mobility of caste mm -hmm. through the concept of universalization and parochialization. Good. Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, these two, universalization and parochialization. Sir, when little traditions culture mm -hmm. elements of little tradition culture are uni universalized to the elite culture, mm -hmm. it is called universalization. Mm -hmm. And when the elements of great tradition makes its way to the little tradition, it becomes, it, it is called parochialization, sir. Okay, and what about de-Brahmanization? Uh, sir, it is the concept whereby many of the Sanskritized tribes who got the status of Brahmins are now claiming back their previous status because of the policies and certain advantages which lower caste people are getting, sir. Okay. And uh, can you name some of the tribes or uh, some of the caste, not tribes, some of the caste who Sanskritize themselves? Uh, sir, Godi Lohars, 
एंड पेंटा भोई ओके मोहित थैंक यू थैंक मोहित यू वर्क इन शिपिंग कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया हाउ लॉन्ग सर फॉर फोर इयर्स व्हेन वाज दिस कंपनी सेटअप सर इन 1961 एंड व्हाट वाज द ओरिजिनल मैंडेट ऑफ द कंपनी सॉरी सर एंड व्हाट आर दे डूइंग नाउ डेज सर इट इज द गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू प्राइवेटाइज इट सर okay that's one thing ownership transformation but what is their function are they only pure transporting company or they are engaged in manufacturing as well uh, i am not aware sir okay headquarters in mumbai sir okay and uh, you talked about uh, lai which is produced in gaya has it got gi tag and uh, no sir still not okay has it been applied i am not aware sir. who can apply for gi tag for a particular product of any place of bihar the private person who is producing has to apply or the administrators have, administrative departments have to apply uh, sorry sir i do not know and who grants this status of gi tag sir gi registrar which is located in chennai mm, that's in chennai. true and who is the best uh, lai producer in gaya yes, sir there are uh, sri ram and tilkut bhandar is a known for live so the tilkut producer is also producing live yes sir and how old their production company is or that is their facilities establishment uh, sir i am not aware about the exact year of establishment but they are very old and uh, famous in whole gas okay and uh, uh, because you are engaged in marine engineering so you know that there are certain international conventions and laws to regulate uh the entire marine sector of the world yes, can you sir. name some leading uh, laws and conventions sir there is a convention called un clause then there are marpol solas then there are sir uh, ilo guidelines imo is the nodal agency which uh, regulates the shipping sector sir okay what part of our foreign trade is carried through ships what percent of foreign trade is carried through ship and what re- remaining part is carried on road or river transport uh, sir 90% by volume of india's trade is carried by a uh, shipping sector sir and 70% by volume okay and we transport our goods both, both export goods and import goods largely with our own companies or largely with foreign companies so largely with foreign companies sir and which companies offer most of the services of transport that is which are the big players so big players include sir bw shippings then there are sir bsm then uh, we have i am forgetting the name Continue. okay fine what is the relationship between shipping and logistics uh, sorry sir okay which government program has been implemented to modernize the shipping infrastructure sir sagar mala program and what exactly are the details sir it is port led port modernization uh, development program sir how many ports are covered under this sagar mala project sorry sir i do not have the exact how many idea. major ports do we have in our country sir so 13 major ports uh, how many of them are located on the western coast So seven. And how many on the eastern coast? Six. Can you name the eastern coastal major ports? Y- yes, sir. Uh, counting from north to south. Sir, Kolkata port, Haldia port, Vishakha. Kolkata Vishakha. and Haldia are separate or same? Uh, same, Mani- sir. Sorry. Okay. As Kolkata and Paradip port, sir. Second. Vishakha pa- Patnam port. Third. Then, sir, Chennai, Inor, Tutti Korin. And se- uh, the eastern coast. Sorry, western part. So western part we have JNPT, Wadhwan. Mm, start port. from south. Sir so, Kochi in Kerala. Okay. And then sir we have Mangalore port, then Marmugao port sir, then JNPT, Wadhwan port, Kandla port sir. Where is Wadhwan port? Uh, sir, it is the satellite port of uh, uh, JNPT in Mumbai. So it is counted as separate or it is included as JNPT? It's a separate port. Okay, and Kandla. It is not. It is not adding up to seven. Uh, so I am able to recall only this. Okay, never mind. Thank you, Mohit. What do you understand by Gujarat doctrine? 
सर इट वॉज ए डॉक्टर आइन इन विच मीन्स इंडिया फॉलो इट टू प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट टू इट्स नाइबरिंग कंट्रीज विदाउट एक्सपेक्टिंग एनीथिंग फ्रॉम दिन इज इट एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल द नेबरिंग कंट्रीज और ओनली टू स्मॉल नेबरिंग कंट्रीज सर आई एम नॉट अवेयर लाइक इज इट एप्लीकेबल टू चाइना एंड पाकिस्तान ऑल्सो दे आर ऑल्सो अवर नेबर्स आई डो नॉट है ओके फाइन वॉट इज इंडिया स्टैंड ऑन द यूक्रेन वॉर इज इंडिया सपोर्टिंग रशिया और यूक्रेन सर इंडिया हैज टेकन ए न्यूट्रल स्टांस इट हैज नॉट कंडेम्ड रशिया फॉर द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट and it also has supported ukraine like it has provided humanitarian assistance sir okay and uh, our trade with russia has increased after the conflict so why we are doing it why we are not taking a clear stand uh, sir it is the long policies of india to adopt middle path in many of the such okay instances. what do you understand by this concept of one health uh, sir it is an integrative approach of health Uh, where it is uh, said that the health of the environment the animals and the humans are interlinked with each other sir correct recently a term has been in news which is moonlighting what is the meaning of this sir so when workers involved means engaged uh, enrolled in some companies are working after they are working hours in different countries uh, this is called moonlighting is it ethical sir i think it depends upon the company's policy sir if the company policy allowed there is nothing mentioned in the contract that you are not allowed then okay what is. about government employees like should they be allowed to do moonlighting sir i don't think i have, i do not support moonlighting in the government sector sir why sir in the government sector certain critical informations or uh, sensitive informations are involved and there is risk of breach of confidentiality Uh, when such uh, employees are working with some private firms sir okay recently central government has uh, constituted a panel to look into this uh, demand for one nation one election who is heading that panel sir honor uh, fr- former president uh, ramnath kovind ji sir okay what is your view on one nation one election should we go for it or like uh, that will be more problematic sir india is a land of huge diversity uh, and uh, democracy in india is large, largely seen with the election part uh, so there is a huge high probability that central issues and regional issues will be mixed when we go for one nation so and one election so we should not sir. go for that yes sir i don't think i okay. think we should not right how many airports are there in bihar sir two airports only two or three existing sir i am aware about two only okay international you, you can look it up uh, final question to you uh, recently this women's uh, reservation act has been passed yes sir what is the number of that which constitutional amendment act is it sir 106th amendment act correct and uh, when this reservation was given to women in local bodies it had led to uh, things like sarpanch pati pradhan pati Yes. So, will we see a repeat of that uh, at the legislative level and uh, maybe at the parliament level, Sansad Pati and Vidhayak Pati? Sir, it is too early to say that the the things will be repeated. Uh, but yes, there may be some probability that there are where there will be some such instances. Do you support quota within quota for this? Uh, yes, sir. I support it. Thank you, sir. Mohit, uh, you have studied. Uh, Uh, dhanwad also huh? yes sir uh, so uh, it is said that jhadiya is burning what is this sorry sir i am not aware you don't have any idea about the mines mining work in jhadiya yes yes sir they are uh, tell me about the problem being faced by jhadiya sir i am exactly not aware okay. about no this. no problem let us move on uh, you have also studied at kolkata huh? yes sir so uh, do you favor that uh, hand pulled uh, rickshaw in calcutta rickshaws is still being hard pulled okay yes sir uh, so do you support this or it should be abolished this practice so i think we should abolish this practice hmm. uh, but those involved in hmm. uh, this practices should be skilled and up skilled so that they can get some better employment sir okay so there should be some alternative yes so sir. government is yet to provide any alternative to them 
Do you have any idea about that? No, sir, I do not. You don't have the, any idea about that. Okay, no problem. Uh, you also uh, watch web series. Yes. Sir. Uh, what I have found that in uh, that web series, generally they are uncensored. What is your opinion about that? So the government has brought uh, mm. new IT rules in 2021, which mm -hmm. has provided for soft core regulations, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think means uh, a strict uh, regulation is not required uh, first we need to look how the new rules are working whether mm -hmm. uh, they, there is improvement or not sir you must have witnessed the abusive languages over there yes sir. so what is your reaction to that whether this uh, those things should be banned as such sir if the story of the web series demands such languages to mm -hmm. protect the originality and creativity uh, mm -hmm. Such languages are included in the web series, sir. So they cannot be banned. If we ban those, uh, those, those series will lose its originality. So if you are uh, watching those web series along with your family members, so you sometimes you may feel embarrassed or not? Yes, sir. We do feel I'm embarrassed. Uh, but there are certain warnings. Uh, uh, in the initial of the web series set that okay. uh, this uh, web series is for in this mm. age group sir okay uh, the last question to you uh, that you um, uh, sing folk songs yes huh? sir uh, in bihar what are the major folk songs so they are chaiti phagi mm -hmm. sumangli mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. uh, wedding songs sir mm -hmm. then uh, ropni songs are also sung mm -hmm. sohar al sohar mm -hmm. And what are the instruments generally associated with these folk songs? Uh, sir, mostly tabla, harmoniums, mm -hmm. uh, basuri mm -hmm. are used, sir. Uh, do you play any of them? Uh, no, sir, I don't You know. don't play? You just sing? Yes, sir. Uh, so you sing which one? Uh, sir, I sing love songs, so mm -hmm. sohar songs and wedding songs, sir. So uh, just a few sentences uh, from a sohar song. So just sing. Gore gore hai gal bacha veke Ghoonghar ghoonghar hai bal bacha veke Bacha veke na na e dahi beche Nani asli halwai bacha veke Gore gore hai gal bacha veke So Sohar is uh, sung uh, at uh, on which occasion sir on childbirth sir on childbirth okay thank you mohit your interview is over you can thank go you. now may i come uh, in just come in take your seat thank you sir. so what about your performance it was satisfactory, I think, it except is some factual questions. Okay. Uh, Mohit, uh, you are a good candidate with a good personality and also very positive. Okay. And uh, so uh, your interview is on 12th yes. and uh, we expect you to do well. Uh, uh, your performance must be good. Uh, so have idea about Gaya. We have asked questions, but even then uh, have more idea about Gaya. Then uh, 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 Jehanabad, also some idea. Uh, Dhanwad, I asked about Jharia. Ah, so right. due to mining or problems, so Jharia is burning. It is not uh, a new thing, new phenomena. It's uh, burning since many years, last many years. So uh, that is uh, Jharia. Then Kolkata, uh, because you stayed there, that is why I asked that question uh, from you. So your answer was uh, more or less good, even uh, uh, like uh, folk songs, you are aware of those folk songs. There are uh, many folk, folk songs, you may remember three, four more, and that will be better. And uh, then uh, uh, regarding web series, uh, its uh, answer is all right. Watching movie, what kind of movies? So Hindi movies. Hindi movies. Mm, related okay. to social issues. Uh, okay, no problem. So uh, related to social issues yes. and, and uh, I think it is good uh, to relate it to social issues 
because you have opted for sociology. sociology. Uh, so sociology, your answer was good. That was uh, about that. So uh, and uh, uh, one more thing. It is uh, yes, uh, generally like uh, whoever uh, uh, born in 1991, then generally I ask a question: What is the significance of 1991? LPG reform uh -huh. and uh, disintegration of USSR. Uh, yes, it's all like cold end of Cold War. Yes. Uh, so, cold. but uh, I tell you one thing: never use uh, this LPG. Uh, uh, LPG, uh -huh. uh, not the abbreviated form, the full form. Mm. Okay, uh, that will always help you. Uh, so, it's all about. Uh, uh, do you have any question? This is a web series. What a question! Kis tarah se dekh kiya jaye? Web series ka thik tha apka. वह उसमें मतलब थोड़ा पहले ही आप कहते हैं जो वो ठीक है जो स्टोरी के साथ जाता है हाँ लेकिन उसमें ये जैसे फैमिली के साथ आया तो उसमें आपको पहले ही जवाब देना चाहिए पहला ही सेंटेंस हाँ जनरली वहाँ पे वो मार्क रहता है जो हम किसके साथ देख सकते हैं नहीं देख सकते हैं वो चीज़ें रहती है तो उस हिसाब से अपने आप को भी रेगुलेट करेंगे फैमिली को भी रेगुलेट करेंगे ठीक है उस तरह से लेकिन फिर भी एक चीज़ होना चाहिए जो आपका पर्सनल ओपिनियन क्या है अगर ये तो आप कहेंगे जो ये जो चीज़ें अवॉइड की जा सकती है ना उसको अवॉइड करना चाहिए क्योंकि बहुत बार वेब सीरीज़ देखने को लगता है ठीक है गालियाँ वहाँ पर हम देखते हैं लेकिन बहुत बार लगता है अगर उसको हटा भी दिया जाता ना तो क्या जो होता है मान लीजिए पुलिस को दिखा रही है अब बहुत सारी गालियाँ तो एक दिमाग में सब चाहे वो आप बच्चों की बात छोड़ दीजिए ना जो यंग हैं या बड़े भी हैं उनको भी लगता है जैसे पुलिस में वो गालियाँ ही देते रहते हैं तो कुछ चीज़ें जो है ना वो इफेक्टिव बनाने के लिए वो देते हैं दैट इज़ नॉट गुड एज सच तो उन चीज़ों को अवॉइड किया जा सकता है सिर्फ इंटरटेनमेंट के लिए हाँ केवल इंटरटेनमेंट मतलब वो थोड़ा सा क्या जो अपना कल्चर है संस्कृति है उसको थोड़ा ध्यान में रखते हुए ये बातें की जा सकती है और कोई सवाल है आपके मन में नो सर चलिए बहुत आप अच्छे कैंडिडेट हैं ठीक है कॉन्फिडेंट इसके साथ दीजिएगा बारह तारीख को अच्छा होगा आपका इंटरव्यू ठीक जय हिंद जय हिंद मोहित अल द बेस्ट